This is the first time we get to orbit Mercury. Out there at the forefront of our solar system lies Mercury, a small, uninhabited planet wrapped in a web of intrigue and mystery. At a mere glance, nothing seems significant about this planet. However, recent investigations by NASA have revealed some shocking revelations about Mercury that no one expected. Some of the mind-blowing discoveries, including data from the James Webb Telescope, have sparked controversy within the scientific community, with many hinting at the possibility of extraterrestrial species hiding on the planet. Amidst the chaotic revelations and bizarre conspiracy theories, a new plan is springing up within the scientific community. The master plan to strip Mercury of its mind-boggling masks and reveal its dark secrets once and for all. What mind-blowing secrets have scientists discovered about Mercury? And what revolutionary plans does the scientific community have for this mysterious galactic neighbor? Join us in this video as the Webb Telescope finally found what NASA was hiding on Mercury all along. Our solar system is more than just an intrinsic body of planets swinging in a cosmic mirror. Around each of the eight planets that make up this enigmatic ring system lies fascinating features of its own. Although planets like Jupiter and Mars may have taken the spotlight with their astonishing significance, one other interesting planetary body that seems to be lost in the crowd is Mercury. Mercury is the planet that lies at the very top of the list of planets in order of closeness to the Sun. Its distance from the Sun is a mere 58 million kilometers compared to Earth's 150 million kilometers. Mercury is also quite tiny compared to Earth, measuring only 3,000 kilometers in diameter. Thanks to its tiny radius around the Sun, Mercury is the fastest planet to complete its revolution around the Sun at a whopping speed of 47 kilometers per second. The planet completes a full rotation in just 59 days. In other words, one year on Mercury is merely 88 days or roughly three months on Earth. Mercury's small size and immense speed are just a few of its fascinating features. From a distance on the cosmic map, it even looks like a habitable planet. The small planet has always been intriguing to the scientific community, but for some reason, it hasn't garnered attention like most of its cosmic neighbors. The first recorded observation of Mercury was in 265 BC. Early astronomers like Zupus back in 39 also studied the planet. However, all the scientific community had in these early times were bits and pieces of data, as all of their research was conducted using substandard scientific equipment and ancient telescopes. It wasn't until the 1960s that real tangible data about Mercury came to light, thanks to the efforts of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. A few years ago, NASA revealed the first real images of Mercury to the public. These larger-than-life photographs showed Mercury as a celestial embodiment of beauty and complexity, but it didn't come cheaply. Despite years of planning and constructed effort to explore Mercury, scientists were only able to glance at it. The truth is that scientists have a hard time spying on Mercury like they do on other planets because of its proximity to the sun. The sun's unforgiving rays and bright light can damage optical instruments like telescopes when they gaze at Mercury for too long. As such, scientists can only glance at the tiny planet for a few minutes at a time to prevent damage to equipment. Even the James Webb Telescope cannot point toward the planet due to its closeness to the sun. It's quite enigmatic how this relatively small, nearby planet is harder to study than the farther planets. All because of the temperature and gravitational pull from the sun sending a probe to Mercury is more like a suicide mission than a stellar mission. The probe must adapt to the temperature, atmosphere, and gravitational pull experienced there. Otherwise, it will waste away. It would shock you to know that Mercury blazes around the sun at a whopping speed of 30 meters per second. This time-shattering speed makes it the fastest orbiting planet in our solar system. And just so you know, this also poses a difficulty for spacecraft that intend to survey the planet or land on its surface. So far, only two space missions have had Mercury as their target. The Mariner 10, launched on November 3, 1973, and the Messenger, launched on August 3, 2004. Both of these missions were the brainchild of NASA, and they are the primary sources of nearly all the information we have about Mercury today. The Mariner 10 spacecraft conducted three flybys, each unmasking the cracked-up, crater-ridden surface of Mercury and shining light on its magnetic field. In case you're wondering, this spacecraft was equipped with two telescopes, spectrometers, a magnetometer spectrometer, and a plasma analyzer. 
NASA intended to glean as much data as possible from Mariner 10's visit to Mercury. As luck would have it, the probe slowly found its way to the small, fast planet. As Mariner 10 approached Mercury, scientists were amazed to see the chaotic surface of Mercury. It was ridden with lots of craters and ridges, much like our moon. The images from Mariner were mind-blowing, as Mercury turned out to be nothing like what experts had ever anticipated. Aside from the rugged planetary surface, the spacecraft also detected a weak magnetic field and an unusually large core. In all, Mariner took over. 2,700 images of Mercury, giving scientists a rare and unparalleled view of the fascinating landscape. The second flyby of Mariner was on September 21, 1974, during which it captured the southern polar region of the sensational planet. The last flyby of Mariner 10 was in March 1975, after which it stopped transmitting signals to Earth. Later investigations revealed that the spacecraft had exhausted its supply of gas and so was unable to make any more rounds. The magnificent work of Mariner 10 was continued 30 years later when NASA's messenger took off to the not-so-distant planet. Unlike its predecessor, Messenger didn't just conduct a flyby but also managed to orbit the planet. Thanks to this, scientists were able to gather more in-depth and interesting data about the planet. Armed with the interesting pictures of Mercury, NASA sought deeper data with this mission. This time, it wasn't just about pictures. The agency wanted to know more about the atmospheric conditions and chemical composition of the planet. NASA also had to study the planet's magnetic field as well as dig deep into its geologic history and planetary core. As you'd expect, the messenger probe was loaded with all the necessary gadgets it would need for this groundbreaking mission. Interestingly, the probe made three orbits around Mercury during which time it took about 200,000 photos of the planet. These pictures were unique because, unlike the Mariner mission, they featured both sides of the planet. During the messenger mission, the probe managed to enter well into the planet's orbit, hovering at about 250 kilometers above the planet's surface. This proximity enabled the probe to take pictures of both the light and dark sides of Mercury. After digging deep into the images and comparing them with data from the spacecraft's instruments, NASA found out that our dear sister planet had unusually high concentrations of calcium and magnesium on its night side. Moreover, the magnetic field of the planet seems to be weirdly distorted appearing to be stronger and more intense in the northern regions. This weird pattern of the magnetic field puzzled scientists for years until deep research analysis was conducted to reveal the secret behind this anomaly. You see, Mercury's weird and unusual magnetic field is all due to how the planet formed at its core. Magnetic fields on planets are generated from the reactions that go on in their core. Take Earth as an example. The innermost parts of Earth's core contain liquid iron, but towards the outer core, this iron changes to solid. The continuous or progressive solidification of liquid iron in the core is what causes a magnetic field. In other words, more and more solid iron is being formed in our planet's core every day as liquid iron cools and crystallizes to form solid iron. It interacts with the surrounding liquid iron as this happens. As the Earth spins around its axis, a form of convective current is created. In the end, Powerful electric currents are generated that produce a massive magnetic field stretching out into space. This is the exact mode of operation for Earth and how its magnetic field lines are generated. For Mercury, however, it's a different ball game. In fact, Mercury's mode of operation is so bizarre that it left scientists completely mind-boggled. In a recent research study led by Hua from the University of California, Los Angeles, it was discovered that iron turns from liquid to solid at the core's outer boundary. This is very different from that of Earth, where the conversion from liquid to solid takes place at the core's inner boundary. Hua had this to say, We had figured out how the Earth works, and Mercury is another terrestrial rocky planet with a core, so we thought it would work the same way, but it's not working the same way. It's like a snowstorm in which the snow forms at the top of the cloud, the middle of the cloud, and the bottom of the cloud too. Our study of Mercury's magnetic field indicates iron is snowing throughout this fluid that is powering Mercury's magnetic field. Further research showed that Hua's research was consistent with data from NASA's messenger mission. The mind-boggling revelation led scientists to believe that planets have more than one way of generating magnetic fields. 
Although the cores of mercury and earth contain similar constituents like sulfur and iron, certain disparities in these two planets can produce astonishing differences, as seen in their magnetic fields. However, the disparity between earth and mercury goes well beyond its magnetic field. You see, there are many other rules that this celestial body doesn't seem to follow. For instance, scientists were puzzled to find that temperatures on the planet could rise to values of over 430 degrees Celsius in the day. This is more than enough to make any living being faint. Interestingly, the messenger mission revealed that Mercury's night temperature could drop as low as minus 170 degrees Celsius. The difference between the hottest and coldest temperatures on the planet is a whopping 600 degrees Celsius. With no atmosphere to speak of and no surface water, Mercury's temperature fluctuates drastically from day to night. As you'd expect, this leaves no room for life as we know it. So far, most of the science surrounding Mercury has revolved around the planet's crust and core, but recent data from NASA's James Webb Telescope has thrown another wild card into the mix. In July 2023, scientists made some shocking discoveries about the planet, revelations that the scientific community had no idea about. As part of its mission, the Webb Telescope was expected to investigate Mercury, albeit indirectly. Although the Webb Telescope didn't point directly at Mercury due to the sun's harsh glare, the telescope managed to observe the sun's electromagnetic radiation reflecting off the planet's surface. What Webb found was stunning. For one, the telescope detected strange, unusual signals emanating from the planet, particularly in the northern polar regions. These signals were faint but consistent, prompting further investigations. When researchers delved deeper into the data, they uncovered that Mercury's northern polar regions contained high concentrations of elements that seemed anomalous. The existence of such elements is inconsistent with the planet's known geology and chemistry. This discovery led scientists to speculate that the planet could be harboring extraterrestrial artifacts or even alien life forms. However, this claim hasn't been officially confirmed yet, as more research is needed to validate these intriguing hypotheses. This new revelation has sent shockwaves across the scientific community, stirring up debates and speculations. While some scientists are enthusiastic about the possibility of alien life, others remain skeptical, urging for further research before jumping to conclusions. The recent revelations about Mercury from the James Webb Telescope have sparked a flurry of activity within the scientific community. Given these new findings, there's an emerging master plan to unravel the mysteries surrounding Mercury. Scientists are now working on an innovative strategy to probe the planet more effectively. This plan involves the development of new spacecraft and instruments designed specifically to withstand the harsh conditions near the sun. These advanced technologies will allow scientists to conduct detailed and prolonged studies of Mercury, aiming to confirm or refute the recent findings and uncover any hidden secrets the planet may hold. In conclusion, Mercury, despite its small size and proximity to the sun, has proven to be a planet full of surprises and enigmas. From its unusual magnetic field to its extreme temperature variations and the latest intriguing discoveries from the James Webb Telescope, Mercury continues to capture the imagination of scientists and researchers. As we embark on new missions and develop advanced technologies to explore this fascinating planet, one thing is clear. Mercury is far more than just a small, fast-moving planet at the edge of our solar system. It's a treasure trove of scientific mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Stay tuned for more updates as we delve deeper into the secrets of Mercury and explore what lies beyond the known boundaries of our solar system.